All right, all right. Hello, everyone, and now welcome to a game as Sock versus Happy. This game taking place on Rune Mall. Sock spawning as the blue human player on the bottom right hand side of the map. Meanwhile, Happy spawning as the yellow undead on the bottom left. Undead versus human 1v1 matchup should be a great matchup here as things do get underway. I do very much enjoy. Um, well, maps that generally have an odd number of gold mines, um, making their making positional advantages all around the map points of interest naturally, and well, the fact that the the players can actually creep um, in an opposite direction of their opponent also adds a new level of well a, a new level of style of play. Um, the, yes, the green creep camps are right here and right here. But from there, you can actually just kind of go north. Um, oftentimes, a lot of the maps that were originally designed, you, um, you kind of like crept and then found your opponent out there in the battlefield. Now, um, if you want to, you can actually just kind of go in a direction that isn't well going straight towards your opponent and then accidentally find him unless your opponent is trying to look for you. Um, Hats off to all the map makers out there and the well, the wonderful community of Warcraft 3 um, who is still making this beautiful game relevant 20 years after its release. Now let's go ahead and break things down as Happy has gone for, well, a Lich first. Lich first, not your typical hero, but has become a much more popular as of late. Happy most likely going to be getting a Rod of Necromancy using Dark Ritual and converting that Rod of Necromancy into mana pretty effectively and quickly. Meanwhile, um, Sok going to go ahead and go straight with that Archmage. No real surprises there. Footman getting trained up. You're going to see an Acolyte try and roundabout. And where are these units perhaps going to run off to? Sok already heading off to the north with an army of militia. And is he going to drop a water elemental? He should be dropping a water elemental fairly quickly. Or is he going to try and attack this Null Warden first? Making sure that that Null Warden gets a purge onto a militia is always important. And that's what you see right there. Sok making sure to, well, not um, make any mistakes against the computer as mistakes against the computer can then be well capitalized on by your opponent all right happy gonna go ahead and clear out this creep camp pretty quickly gonna use already used up one rod of necromancy and now gonna go after the sorcerer and this last bear i believe this is a 544 creep camp meaning that well once this bear gets taken down happy's lich will also be at level two that earlier scouting acolyte has now come back and is now looking to perhaps set up an expo. Meanwhile, Sok, even though he is he going to try and set up an expo here, that is the question. And this expo is also fairly um, interestingly placed out. You can actually see that there are two entrance points to this expo location. Um, on opposite sides so you can see a large exposure here and then also a large exposure off to the north making it much more difficult to try and defend this expansion and um, expansions being difficult to defend always an interesting interesting point to note as we're looking at this footman now looking to retreat back blight already down haunted gold mine already well being summoned up alongside a ziggurat here archmage of sock and well lich is happy or happy's lich excuse me easily just getting in some of that experience no tech to tier two yet obviously as happy will need to try and train up some additional acolytes unless he summons up a necropolis off to the north Meanwhile, we're getting to near level 3 on both of these heroes as both sides are looking to play a little bit of the of the long economic game. All right. So economic game already getting underway. Kobo Geomancer is going to he's going to cast another slow. No, he does not. Ring of superiority plus 1 to every single stat going now after the Frost Wolves here. Meanwhile, back off to the north side. Footman still doing a little bit of scouting. Lich is nearby. Going to go ahead and use another Dark Ritual. Perhaps going to try and Frost Nova down to that Footman. There's a Frost Nova. And there is a level 3 now on that Lich. That's never something you want to do. Um, you never want to feed experience to your opponent if you, well, if you can control it. All right. Coming back the other side here. Wow, so difficult to spot um, the blue army on this frozen tile set but 
Well, gotta try it. Archmage does get to level 3. Level 2 water elementals are gonna be ready, and here we are going into an engagement. Both sides fighting. Water elemental off to the side here. Gonna try and do a little bit of poking as well, as this water elemental going to puddle down into nothing. Alright, both sides continuing the fight here. Water elemental being forced to back away as Acolytes are now making their way forward. Perhaps gonna try and finish off some of those units. Water elemental down to 282 hit points. The Lich is full on damage. Meanwhile, Archmage is full on rings of protection. That's not gonna offer as much much as the Archmages, well, shouldn't be taking damage in the first place, um, at least not in this point and stage in the game. Arch Archmage going to come back around. Here we are going to try and engage, hurry back off to the north. There's a Frost Nova there as the Archmage is trying to slip away down to 368 hit points. What is he doing? The Ghouls are going to perhaps be able to get in front, and there is another Frost Nova again. That Archmage down to 176 hit points and still taking more and more damage. The Lich may be able to get off one more Frost Nova there. There's another Frost Nova, another auto attack, and he gets taken out. No use of the Scroll of Town Portal as originally expected. And Sock just kind of stumbles in too happy, loses a level 3 Archmage, and, well, having all sorts of problems. Tech to Tier 2 now underway on both sides. Um, well, Town Hall a little bit further along, it appears. Yes, we should also be looking at a resurrection on the Archmage, already resurrected at the tavern there, as he now retreats back. All right, we are getting up a Blacksmith. Arcane Vault is already up here. Archmage perhaps thought that with all of those rings of protection, he had a lot more survivability, which he did. But as we all know, well, rings of protection do not help you from spell damage. And one of the reasons why, well, Hero Banukin works out so well. Ice Troll Warlord going to get cleaned up here. Expo is already fully saturated on both sides. And gold difference, 11-6 versus 10-7. So about a 1,000 gold difference. However, um, well, Happy definitely winning out on the experience race as we're looking at uh, Goblin Shredder getting added in and now adding, picking up a potion of invulnerability. Now... Here is the problem. Lich is going to come out onto the battlefield, having uh, all of that uh, level 2 Frost Nova to perhaps try and blast down those footmen. The footmen are actually in a little bit of a danger zone already. You can see they've taken quite a few, or they're recovering their hit points now, but one or two Frost Novas could really greatly change things. Meanwhile, low hit point Water Elemental going to back away. This Water Elemental, just fighting his way through, could end up getting surrounded. He's going to try to go after one of those ghouls, and now is he going to switch targets? He will and dies to time to life. So happy on the short end of that, taking a little bit of damage on a ghoul as we're looking at the, well, units getting ready to engage. There goes another Frost Nova. Bunch of slowed peasants now, and those ghouls are just going to easily, easily just, uh, well, finish off all of those units. Goblin Shredder tries to come over to help. Lich still has a rod of necromancy and now has some decent mana again as we're looking at the ghouls trying to retreat back. Mountain King now out on the battlefield. That level one Stormbolt should be able to snipe down any ghouls and stop this early game harassment as we should be looking at a Death Knight coming across from Happy here in just a moment. Meanwhile, Archmage has come back around and he's put pressure on the Slaughterhouse to prevent that from being summoned, further delaying um, any of those, well, precious, precious Obsidian statues. Meanwhile, Mountain King also doing a lot of creeping away from all the action. So Archmage is, well, doing some invisible tactics even before the Arcane Sanctum is up, going for a work, um, going for dual workshops, getting fly machines, and perhaps getting a second barracks for knights already. This is incredibly, incredibly aggressive. Is the Archmage just going to try and pick up items here? That is the question. Um, you can see that there's another Ring of Protection plus four, but what can really be done here? The Archmage is just wandering around, keeping track of sight, and here we are. There's a Water Mantle from behind, there's a Stormbolt, and suddenly the Lich finds himself, well, in a little bit of a pickle. Trying to get back around, there's another Frost Nova. Units are going to try and engage. Are we going to see a Stormbolt? No, we're going to be looking at a Death Knight and getting Stormbolted here as the Mountain King could have a little bit of problems. There's a Thunderclap as well as the Mountain King gets blasted quickly. Death Knight could be in some serious trouble. Is he going to get away? down to 51, down to 21 hit points, and he gets splashed down by the Water Elemental as well. 
All right, both sides fighting heavily. 45 supply compared to 41. We're going to be looking at some dark rituals, trying to clean up some of this experience as the Archmage desperately wants to get to level 4 for that extra bit of mana. Both sides are going to engage here. Lich gets a Frost Nova off, trying to escape from that Archmage as he's turning around, trying to get some auto attacks in. Staff of Teleportation outbound as the Lich does head back home. Meanwhile... Death Knight getting resurrected. His resurrection will be quick. Mountain King's resurrection is going to take a little bit more time as the upgrade the castle now done. Okay, upgrade the castle done and now upgrading, uh, well, long range rifles. That seems a little bit odd there as the Archmage, um, well, trying to get in some heals, trying to leave some items off to the side there, does pick up a Staff of Sanctuary. <coughs> to try and protect some of those units back at home. All right, how is this all going to unfold? A Lich now up to level or, uh, at four and a half here. I'm going to go after this Renegade Wizard Creep Camp. There's Lightning Shield cast on that Lich. It needs to back away. We see Banshees um, there. So Banshees now to try and get possession out there on the battlefield. Are we actually going to train up knights? Yes, we are getting up some knights. There's some fly machines. We're also getting fragmentation shards as well. So, um, well, it feels like Sock is purposely um, training up a wide array of units to make it difficult for Happy to just uh, build a straight, straight counter. Death Knight going to, well, lead the charge now. Um, even though the Lich is higher up in level, the Death Knight is going to be the hero that holds everything together. If that Death Knight can get to level 3 before the Mountain King, that will be a very big deal as 400 hit point heals um, could be a problem. We're also looking at a third and final hero, a Dreadlord, joining in on the fight here as we see a Goblin Sappers trying to push their way inside the base. Are they going to be able to get there? Yes, they get to one and get two. Multiple buildings are taken down. Footman now trying to retreat back out. Is the gold mine lost? It is not. But Happy now upside down on supply. 64 over 50. Going to take quite some time before new units are added on to the battlefield. All right. Paladin now out on the battlefield as well. We're looking at knights. No, um, no animal war training. Ad adding in a couple more farms to try and bolster everything here. Um, Mountain King perhaps going to pick up, yes, yeah, so another Ring of Protection using up a Clarity Potion and once more will want to try and push and move on out. The Red Creep Camp out on the map, this last gold mine going to be cleared. I believe the Death Knight will get to level 3. A Dreadlord is still sitting at level 1 but with sleep can easily shut down uh, that Mountain King if it tries to dive too far. Also looking at a level 5 Lich and also having anti-magic shell, Happy's army composition um, perfectly counters his opponents right now. I, I thought originally Temple of the Damned we were going to be looking at um, Necromancers, but instead Banshees with possession, Ghouls for the Swarm, Obsidian statues as in just in case, well, you need some anti-magic devouring as the arcane tower quickly gets swarmed out by all of these units. Priest now coming offline, or Priest coming out to the training here, going to try and back away. Are we going to see some damage getting added in? Fragmentation charge by the mortar team to try and find those Priests or Banshees before the Banshees can actually possess down a target. And here we are, there's two possessed knights already. All right, two, um, well, two turncoats, and suddenly it's a 60 supply versus 72. Happy and um, jumping up in terms of supply there as the Lich being forced to back away. There's a carry-on swarm ripping through. 56 supply for Sock compared to Happy's 70. All right, big losses around here. Paladin wanting to get to level um, 2 here. Going to finish off this um, well, little mammoth. Mountain King sitting at level 2. We are looking at two Staff of Sanctuaries and not being able to Staff of Sanctuary um, those knights who are getting possessed out of there. Well, going to cause problems. We are now looking at two knights. Anti-magic shell on them. They're going to be strong frontline units. And then the ghouls nearby also providing quite a bit of support as well. All right. Archmage purposely keeping its distance. Paladin, Mountain King, both get a level up there. That is a, an important double level up as, well, hero levels make a, make a drastic difference. L Lich still um, 
inching out ahead at level 5. Now, Sock has really well, run himself into a, an odd corner here. He needs to figure out a way to deal um, to deal with um, these Banshees. The Banshees, with their possession and an anti-magic shell, can really cause quite a bit of problems. Um, making it so that, well, um, spell damage doesn't work. Also, you can't train very high-end units with those Knights. And the mortar teams and riflemen can't just simply engage against all these units here. Mountain King does have Thunderclap. He quickly gets slept and now needs to try and engage. There is a Thunderclap there. It doesn't deal damage, but it does cause a little bit of slowing as the Spellbreakers are looking to fight. However, Spellbreakers are going to be on the wrong end of Sundering Blades of those knights, taking bonus damage again as both sides are fighting their way through. Banshees are able to... Well, Cause lots of problems continuing to poke through here. 74 supply compared to 52. And this is just an absolute, absolute massacre. Happy is shutting down enemy heroes. There's a Staff of Sanctuary for a save. There's a Thunderclap trying to, well, um, well deal more damage here. Mountain, there's another Staff as both sides are fighting again. All right, Mountain King still looks to be okay. Takes a Holy Light and now is trying to fight back against all of these units. The Potion of Lesser Invulnerability. More Dark Rituals. One Knight going to get taken down. Paladin uses the... No, does not have Divine Shield. Had Devotion Aura and now forced to back up again. All right. Both sides are still fighting their way through. Ghouls are trying to swarm, able to get in some big damage here. Mountain King's Potion of Lesser Invulnerability has come to an end, or Potion of Invulnerability has come to an end. Has a Potion of Mana, could quickly use that as well as both sides are fighting. Cannon Tower in the back line, providing a, quite a bit of support, trying to finish off that Knight there. Is the Knight just going to get Storm Bolted? Um, gets taken out. Archmage now sitting, still sitting at level 4. Both sides are fighting here as they're kind of pushed into a little bit of a corner. Water Elementals are trying to hold the door here. Cannon Tower providing quite a bit of support. 90 to 111 damage as the Banshees, well, the Banshees and Obsidian Statues and Heroes are all that are left. The Ghouls are instead swarming down to the bottom position. There's some repairs. Paladin trying to get resurrected. And are we going to see, ooh, Carry On Swarm, Frost Nova, all those peasants didn't know what hit them. More damage adding coming across. Mountain King trying to get in some Thunderclaps. 41 supply compared to 76. The writing is on the wall. Happy is in massive control of this game. A couple of easy lobs against those Banshees could be enough, but hasn't been able to really land those attacks against those weaker backline units. Uh, it, it feels like there are so many high priority targets to try and take down. Mountain King could have tried to perhaps um, look at that Thunderclap in there. Are we looking at a Spellbreaker? Yes, getting saved here. Well, two easy picking units off to the side, and that is going to be the end. There's the game right there. Happy is victorious. A beautiful game, um, but really happy in dominant control for the majority of it, even though he had a lower resource score. That yeah, lower resource score and less lumber harvested, even a little bit less gold, and did lose more gold to upkeep though. Hero level, the big advantage there, level five on that lich, add in a level two carry on swarm, and well, that backline really never stood a chance. That initial fight where well, Happy was able to possess two knights, the the beginning of the end, so to speak, uh, for Sock. Let me know what you guys thought about this game in the comments below.